Hello YouTube, this is Crosscheck and welcome to a very, very exciting video. Finally, the Microsoft Flight Simulator team has delivered to us the PC requirements for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. So it is a very, very exciting day. We got minimum specs, recommended specs and ideal specs. It comes to no surprise that the minimum OS version that we need to have is Windows 10. Obviously, this being a Microsoft Flight Simulator, it is going to be limited to the Windows operating system, so no Linux and no Mac. You will need Windows 10. So on minimum specs, let's check out the CPU. On the AMD team, you're gonna be needing the Ryzen 3 uh, 1200. On Intel, a i5 4460. These are the weakest CPUs you can pair with the new flight simulator. Now regarding GPUs, at least you should have a Radeon RX 570 or a NVIDIA GTX 770. Two gigabytes of VRAM, your PC should at least have eight gigabytes of RAM. You should have a hard drive disk that at least has 150 gigabytes of free space. And your internet bandwidth, you should aim for at least five megabits per second. This, I'm assuming it's only download, uh, the upload data must be extremely small, so if you don't have asymmetrical bandwidth, I've, I assume it wouldn't be much of a problem. Now let's go for the recommended specs. At least a Ryzen 5 1500X or a Intel i5 8400 processor. Now talking about video cards, a, at least a Radeon RX 590 or a Nvidia GTX 970. 4 GB of VRAM. In your computer you should at least have 16 GB of RAM, a hard drive disk with at least 150 GB of free space and an internet connection with a bandwidth of at least 20 MB per second. So this should be manageable for a lot of people. 20 megabits of internet is a decent amount, but it should be uh, manageable uh, for most of people, hopefully. Now regarding the rest of the specs, I think, I think we are doing really, 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 really good. To have a system that can cover the recommended specs right now, it's actually not that bad. By doing some quick uh, price gazing on Newegg.com, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure you could build a recommended Microsoft Flight Simulator computer for less than $800 probably, and that is a pretty good deal. Of course, I am not talking about screen, keyboard, mouse, I mean, just, just the case with the, the components that go inside the case. You should be able to probably do something at around $800 or even less, and that is actually quite nice. I'm going with the Ryzen processor and a Radeon video card, but yeah, you would totally be playing on recommended specs on a very decent budget PC. And of course, budget comparing to what people were expecting. We're expecting a recommended computer of no less than $2,000. So uh, this is actually quite nice. Now let's go into the ideal specs for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, regarding AMD, well, you're gonna be aiming for a Ryzen 7 Pro uh, 2700X or a Intel i7 9800X. Uh, so I'm really happy that I upgraded to the Ryzen 9 uh, 3600X because it seems uh, I am now above the ideal specs for flights later. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, now regarding the video cards, you are going to be wanting a Radeon 7 video card or a NVIDIA RTX 2080 at least. With of course at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Now uh, this is one of my weak spots. I have not upgraded because I am waiting for the NVIDIA uh, 3000 series that should be coming later on this year and I'm definitely jumping into at least a 3080. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to by a 3080 Ti, but who knows, that those are quite, quite expensive. Anyway, also regarding RAM, the ideal is 32 gigabytes, which uh, I just upgraded into this spec, so that is amazing. Also, it is ideal to have the simulator installed on a SSD, so at least a SSD that has 150 gigabytes of space available. And regarding bandwidth, so 50 is the idea. If you are anything above these specs, you are going to be having a absolutely astonishing time. 
And uh, yeah, finally we got these and it is very, very exciting. The minimum specs are absolutely great. That is really achievable. So for building a machine on the minimum specs, I mean, it should be quite affordable. I, I, I think you should be around the $500 mark and that is pretty good. Regarding the recommended specs, well, you should be around the $800 mark, which is still really good for what we were expecting. If you go for the ideal, well, uh, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's gonna be getting a little bit uh, expensive. You can expect to be around the $1,500 mark, uh, depending on the deal that you get, right? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really good that we uh, got this information. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be really happy because the minimum specs are just wonderful, the recommended specs are, are great, and the ideal specs, well, uh, they, they are manageable. It's not, it's not that insane. It is, it's, I mean, it's good hardware, but it's not ridiculous. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this information useful. Please do let me know uh, what are your thoughts regarding the recommended specs. Well, the minimum, the recommended and the ideal. I think it's gonna be really valuable information or input that you guys can throw on my direction. Anyway, thank you very much. Happy flying, cross check out.